how does anyone even talk about diabolical pitch? No matter how it's broken down, it makes the speaker sound like a crazy person. It's a shooter, sort of, where the bullets are baseballs. The enemies are walking animal dolls, they throw buzzsaw blades at a pitcher, it's on connect, baboons ride UFOs, and the main guy's arm can turn into a cannon. This is nonsense. Grasshopper Manufacturer's first connect game is out of its mind. It's just too bad that's the best thing it has going for it. If it's the future we're at, then there has to be a past that you long for. The hell are you talking about? Don't worry about the story in Diabolical Pitch. There's something about a space cow helping a pitcher achieve his dreams or something, but it's really just an excuse to throw balls and stuff. The real hook here is the baseball card progression. Money earned in each level gives players access to new cards, which gives them access to special powers, combo multipliers, and other buffs to keep their pitcher powerful. Diabolical Pitch encourages players to replay levels, to earn more money, to get more stuff. Collecting baseball cards is a fun cycle to get caught in, especially when it means getting to see more of the totally bonkers and surprisingly dark themes at play. But that cool, quirky art style can only carry a troubled game for so long. Aiming with your left hand and throwing with your right makes up the brunt of Diabolical Pitch's gameplay. Stuff shows up, and you throw stuff at it. When things get too close, you kick them, duck them, and do whatever you can to keep the star pitcher from swallowing an axe. For the first couple hours, the evolution of Diabolical Pitch stays pretty amusing. Walking animal dolls get more capable, the environments get more dangerous, and more stuff starts happening at once. On one hand, the challenge is a welcome step away from the simplistic whack-a-mole gameplay. On the other, Diabolical Pitch doesn't clearly understand its limitations. Connect doesn't cooperate with commotion, especially in something that requires fast-paced pointing and shooting. Missiles and other threats that need to be locked onto take a valuable time, and even though the stages are just a few minutes long, it still sucks to have to start over because of a cheap onslaught. Game over. The means of fighting back are consistently entertaining, and co-op gives players buddy-based abilities like revives or synchronous throws. Everything is useful and looks cool, whether you're using lightning to take out enemies spread apart, fire to burn guys up close, or a bat to snipe out specific guys. Trouble is, the connect response isn't ideal. Even when using screen clearing saves, the input is either inaccurate or delayed. Having the aimer waver off screen or lose track of one of your arms really sucks, and it isn't always the player's fault, it just happens. Also, not much changes throughout Diabolical Pitch. Waves of chrome rabbits and evil babars just keep coming. Sometimes they appear close, sometimes far, sometimes with more guys, and sometimes with less. Jumping and ducking and catching enemy projectiles adds a bit to it, but ultimately there just isn't that much here to enjoy from a quantitative standpoint. It's easy to appreciate the simple fun of throwing baseballs at freaky circus things, but the fun goes away as Diabolical Pitch exposes its weaknesses. Connect's troubled detection clashes with some already problematic design that'll just push pitchers away. Honestly, the trial on XBLA will probably give you everything you need. For more on Diabolical Pitch, head over to IGN.com.